Are you with me? Me? Yeah, the rose but kisses of beloved. Have you fallen off your chair now with the night? No, I'm still it's here. It's all true. We live, in, we live in this magical world and all we see are the machines. Unless we decide not to, and it's just a decision. It's just a decision. Yeah, exactly. It's just a choice. It's a choice. It's a choice anybody can make. Once they make it, they step into the enchanted wood and become real. Yeah. It's a choice to love. Thank you, darling, for the big love. Okay. I love you endlessly. Hmm. Okay. Stay safe. That is the voice of my beloved Christopher Busby. Hello. This video is about the power the power of nature that I'm gazing at here through the window on the 11th floor Over Mother Dalga, the river, the river. But this is also my plead of love and congratulations to the rulers of. Earth to the big, big planners of the system that we have on Earth, and I do give my absolutely thrilled congratulations to you because your master plan is just beyond imagination. It's so powerful, so brilliant. And nobody sees you, the rulers with just this 
magnificent idea of this money system. The dollar bill, you got it all. who you are, the rulers. I've just, from my scan of uh, the rules of power, could be Zion Priorat, could be Bilderberg's Council of Foreign Relations, Trilateral Commission, Swiss groups, Austrian, Bank of International Settlements and International Monetary Fund is obviously the tool. Brilliant tool. So clever. You are really divine geniuses. You really got those billions of dollar followers. And all these troops, all these military and corporate generals and soldiers in all nations, in all ethnical groups, all religions, who do whatever you please. Powerful. And George Soros, who has done the structure of my motherland, Latvia, you are simply the best. You rule. <laughs> and this Republic of Latvia, everybody thinks that it's a state. It's a fabulous corporation you have created. And these hundred sitting in the parliament, whoever everybody thinks are chosen, they are great managers of your plans. Always there to do what you please. Hmm. And soon you are about to get to your third world war, aren't you? And after the third world war, there will be no competition ever, wherever. Brilliant. But of course, it's, it was done with this fabulous computer world creation, wasn't it? Digitalization. How everything got sucked into your Visa card realm. Nobody even asks who runs those Visa cards. People are so, so, so absorbed.
Yeah, it's mind blowing. You're simply the best. Congratulations. It's awesome. Dazzling. But I have to tell you one thing that's missing in puzzle of your brilliant plan. That you have not got information on. And that is why I called Chris before I spoke to you. The voice of the man you heard in the beginning is Professor Christopher Busby. The one person managing the whole radiation security modeling science. You people in the highest management of things, you haven't been informed about the danger of radioactive substances properly. So I will just read to you, read to you the information. It's just three sentences, don't bother. As the result of scientific studies of nuclear test fallout and accidents, we now know the radioactivity in nuclear waste, such as plutonium, uranium, strontium-90 and others, is the most serious threat to life on Earth that has emerged since life began. DNA is exquisitely sensitive to radiation, which has been shown to mutate and destroy developmental forms of all living creatures at vanishingly low level doses, nanoparticle levels even. The enormous quantities of nuclear waste located all over the planet with half-lives of billions of years represent a direct upcoming disaster of unparalleled seriousness to life on Earth. And in the event of any breakdown in custody, with immediately dispersed either explosively or by dilution into flood water with apocalyptic consequences. And then we're talking the end of any type of life. We're talking even the end of germs. Because the amount of nuclear waste produced already is unacceptably huge on the surface of the planet and it is not stored in a way that is acceptable and these nuclear plants are still spitting out more and more and more all the time and it's not getting stored and the risk model icrp model that you have been informed about that the pentagon is using on the whole planet is wrong. So this is the trap, the ultimate trap that you haven't been informed about. So in the case of a little solar flare for a week that is big enough to get 
electricity out for a week on the planet, that's it. That's all it needs for global nuclear waste acapulic event. And so it is the same with floods in case of climate change. And this you have forgotten. You haven't had this on your map. map. So this is the error. And that's the one I have discovered. There may be more. So what do we do from here? Because we need a very fast recovery of the systems of the planet to have the people to take care of all that nuclear waste, which is enormous amount. So you do need the people to take care of it. You can't destroy them. You have to put down your plan for killing 90% people. Because nuclear waste is an enormous project. To make it safe, you will need people to work. You can't get rid of vast amounts. So how do we get this done fast? I'll tell you. You have to put on totally different system than you have now on the earth where these people can gloriously fast get it done and You can find this system on this This is the web page National State of Info where you can see the method. So my suggestion is to switch to the system of love. The system of wealth and ecological welfare. We can get it up and going very fast if you just make it happen and all the structural problems can be solved by the methods love, peace and understanding Remember the peace of love. Keep in touch. We'll get there.
The best is yet to come.